small plane crashes alongside 210 freeway in Silmar. One killed after small plane crashes alongside 210 freeway in Silmar plane crashed Wednesday afternoon along the westbound lanes of the 210 freeway in Silmar. The crash happened just before 12.30 p.m. alongside the westbound lanes at the Hubbard Street, according to the California Highway Patrol. The plane was described as a red Cessna. The only person on board the twin-engine Cessna 337 Skymaster was the pilot, who was killed according to the FAA. Los Angeles firefighters contained a small fuel leak and a search of the area did not turn up anyone else who had been in the plane. Los Angeles Police Department Captain James Townsend confirmed this in a press conference following the crash, where he said, right now, what we have. It looks like there's one lone occupant who is deceased. The pilot's name has not been released. Fortunately it was not on the 210 freeway, because things would have obviously been a lot worse, Townsend continued. The plane landed in the middle of trees on an embankment along the freeway and did not hit any vehicles, but authorities say tragedy. drivers should avoid the area. The crash did not spark any flames, and narrowly avoided a group of power lines in along that side of the road. We did not get any information to tell us that the power lines were involved in the airplane crash, said LAFD Deputy Chief Trevor Richmond. There wasn't any fire, there was a small fuel leak that was contained by fire resources. He continued to note that the crews created a small berm in the immediate location of the leak to prevent it from flowing down onto the freeway. The NTSB is en route to the scene and will handle the investigation of the crash, according to the LAFD. The crash occurred a few miles north of Whiteman Airport in Pacoima, but it's unclear at this time if that's where the pilot was headed. Locals have called for the airport to shut down several times in the past, and most recently in January after a pilot crashed onto the train tracks in the area where he was barely rescued before his aircraft was struck by an oncoming train. Crews on the scene plan to move the plane from the embankment into an empty field adjacent to the crash site by crane, where NTSB and FAA investigators will work to determine cause. Witnesses on the scene detailed the moments during and after the crash occurred. All of the sudden you heard like this SHHH. Boom, said one woman who rushed to where the plane crashed. 